Cambodia is a nation that's still stunted in many ways by the massacre that happened, led by the Khmer Rouge in 1975 to 1979. Since then, the government has had a difficulty trying to carry out justice when there's so much corruption in the government. The small village Swai Pok was once the largest hub for child sex trafficking around the world. Pedophiles came from around the world because they had almost complete assurance that they could get away by bribing themselves out of any situation. Children would be kept in small brothel rooms to be raped multiple times a day, either until they would get sold to a pedophile or die of AIDS. An American couple, Don and Bridget Brewster, watched a small documentary on Swai Pak and decided to check it out for themselves. The situation was worse than it had appeared, so they moved over to found Agape International Mission, a non-denominational Christian charity that is part youth center part counseling center, and part church. Don and Bridget bought the ex-brothel and converted it into a non-profit organization called Rahab's House and started training Cambodian leaders. Today, Pastor Sean Ta and his wife Poon Tong lead the center, educating and serving in the community. When they opened up the center, the first program they started was a free weekly health clinic to meet the largest need of the community. The next thing they did was opened a gym. Drug dealers and gang members from all over the community began to come and meet in the center. Ratanak built friendships with these individuals and started educating and providing opportunities to pursue health and life skills. Green Chief. One of my favorite pictures of a transformational story is about a 13-year-old girl who was sold to multiple pedophiles but was later rescued out of the brothel. Two months into her counseling after her rescue, she learned she had value, dignity, and beauty. She forgave her abuser and decided she wanted to help prevent other children from getting into the same situation she was in. She is now volunteering in the ex-brothel that she was rescued out of and is studying to be a counselor. Transformation is not just for Swipok, but we each have the same power to transform the communities we are a part of.